So we're making a dog pen for a little tiny dog. It's only about this big. <laughs> His name's Monty. It belongs to Rebecca. Good morning, everyone. Well, it's not so much of a bright day today, but anyway, it doesn't matter. We're going to crack on. We've started the next project in the van and it's going to be a little bit different. Um, and Monty will be included in this one too. So let me show you what we've been doing. And we're going to take you um, to the shops with us in a minute because we need to go and get some more wood. This is what we're working with. And you know I said that we were taking the fire out for a different project. Well, this is the start of it. So what we did yesterday was made a quick frame. So, right. And then this piece here is going to go like so. We're going to fix it to the floor. And then what it is, is this is going to be a little doorway here for little Monty boy, my little dog, my chihuahua. And then from this side of the opening doorway, this is actually going to be a solid wall with a window here for Monty. So this bottom section is going to be a dog crate area for him. So he's going to have a window here and then a little door on this end so that he can climb in and out and get in and out when the door to the actual van is shut. And then this is going to be a solid wall and I'm going to have um, hooks for coats, dog leads, bags, whatever we want. Maybe a little um, shelf underneath as well or a fold down panel, a bit similar to this worktop here that flips up when you want it. Haven't decided yet, so I will keep you posted about that. But yeah, that's the idea. So maybe like two coat hooks and then a little flip up table that goes down underneath and then below that is going to be like a mesh window for Monty so that he can be in the dog crate area not have to worry about it at all. As you're looking at it from inside the van we're now going to have this as a solid bench so we're going to get some wood for the top here so that that is actually going to be for us to sit on and then we're going to do another piece today let me stand back a bit more so we're going to continue on that same height across and up to the shower so that we can also sit on this area and it's going to have a flip up lid so that all of the space inside this box area here will be storage but it's going to be a low enough height so that if we want to get into the cab we just hop onto the the box here and go on in to the cab area now you're wondering about it being so close to the shower what we've done is we've measured it so that we can still get into the shower if we need to, or I can get into the shower if we need to. Um, but this side here is going to overlap into the shower so that any water that runs down is going to go straight back into the shower tray. And I will be fitting this end panel that faces the shower with this same plastic. So it's not going to get water damaged, it's not going to get any kind of water logged in it or swell up or anything like that, it's going to be protected. So fingers crossed, all of the planning that I've been doing and kind of imagining in my head is actually going to pay off and work really well. So we'll actually have a nice little seating area for me and Monty and he will be safe in his little house in there. I've got a nice bit of a like a slightly of an L shaped seating area and I've also got a little storage wall too. Oh and the added bonus about making this wall is so that when you're sat on the bench in the corner you've also got this area to lean up against so that you know you're not just going to sit on the bench and fall out of the door you're actually going to have a little kind of like a bistro bar like corner seat to sit on so I've actually done it so that it's 40 centimetres high off the floor. So it's a total of 40 centimetres, allowing a 10 centimetre cushion on the top. So probably going to do like memory foam or some kind of foam cushion so that it's comfortable to sit on as well. And um, 
haven't decided yet but there may well be a little bonus that I fit as well but it depends on whether or not we've got the space and if Mel allows me to do it because he did kind of roll his eyes a bit when he saw my plans of what I wanted here instead of the fire but um, I'm really looking forward to doing this I think it will be a much better use of the space and hopefully you'll be excited to see what I come up with as well and you'll see my thought processes when I was umming and ahhing about taking the wood burner out this is what I thought would be a better resolution for the space and much more functional for living in a van because had I kept the fire I wouldn't have had anywhere to sit so I would have had to have sat on the edge of my bed to have had some food or if it was nice weather eat outside but this way bad weather I can still sit inside or I can sit in the corner editing YouTube videos for you guys so yeah I'm gonna take you with me and we're gonna head off to the shops to get some more timber exciting times let's go must remember to lock up sometimes I walk off and I forget that I haven't locked the van up let's go people let's go see if Mel's ready I can hear the van going on oh, yeah. he's ready are we ready for our road trip I think so yeah the van's looking ready it's a pair oh, it up. Yeah. he's tidying <laughs> Oh yeah, you've got, you've got to make it nice and clean for the posh lady. Apparently I'm posh. You're a bit posh, see, so I'm <laughs> not used to having posh people in there. <laughs> oh, see, you heard it here first, people. He thinks I'm posh. I didn't know you were going to be filming. <laughs> About. I'm at B&Q's and um, I've checked my tracker and it does actually show exactly where I am pretty much yeah, pretty much pinpointed it I'm in the car park of B&Q I'm right over in the corner and the tracker is actually tracking exactly where I'm parked what I do I take a screenshot of my phone and I put it there for you so you can see exactly what I can see it is absolutely absolutely spot on I am well impressed right go do some shopping Nice van. I like it. It's all right, isn't it? It's a good van. The nice thing about having a medium wheelbase sprinter, as you can see, it fits in a stout car parking space. Brilliant! That is a good point. Ooh, cold, mm -hmm. isn't it? It's freezing! <laughs> the goodies. Always good when you have a van. You've got lots of space to put all your shopping. All the lovely goodies. Oh, put a bit up there. Make them shorter. Oh, I see. So the bars don't go right down to the bottom. Mm. Yeah, do that then. Yeah. So you've got a shorter. Yeah. Then you need to use another bit of that. What this? Yeah. To go across the <laughs> Okay, let's do that. Let's do that. Let's do that. Shows how good a fit it is. Look, it don't even fall out. <laughs> See? Proper chippy, that is. And done with hand tools. No bench saws, no fancy schmancy equipment. Just that. And a saw. That's all you need, girls. So there you go, you heard it first. All you need is some simple hand tools and a straight eye apparently. And I've got two wonky eyes, according to Mel anyway. But I don't think I've done that badly. Good thing is, is that you don't have to have a straight eye when you're doing a van. No, you just need a Mel. I need a Mel. <laughs> 
So yeah, we're going to carry on with this and get it done. Or rather, man's going to get it done. So we're making a dog pen for a little tiny dog. It's only about this big. <laughs> His name's Monty. It belongs to Rebecca. Now, I'm going to make some railings for the dog pen. Now it's really easy to divide seven. Okay, so I've got seven rails, right? And the reason it's really easy is because you have one in the middle, okay, and then three each side of the one in the middle. So if you look at this piece here that's divided, if you're working with sevens, you find your centre line, and then half that again, and then half that again, that gives you seven divisions because it's seven's an odd number but it divides evenly by halving it and halving it and halving it does that make any sense at all it's good so we're now going to make circular holes into for these each, to go in for like the dowels to go in yeah that's it so, so the dowels are going to go like that and there's seven one in the middle and then three each side that's why it's easy to divide seven you divide this into half, so we've half of this, let's say this is 20 inches long, half of this is 10 inches, and then half of that is five, and then half of five is two and a half. So it's really easy to divide seven. I think I made my point. <laughs> so you put that in, put the bit in the middle, you know where your middle is then, simple as that. Right. Now, if you was a professional, unlike me, you'd be putting some tape around this to make sure you get the holes to the right depth. Unless you're really experienced like me, of course, and you've got a good eye. What do you think, guys? Comment below. Has Mel got a good eye? Time will see when we get to put these dowels in and see whether they actually work. Let's see. <sighs> a bit loose. This isn't going to be easy. <laughs> this isn't going to be easy to line all these up. <laughs> Looks like a brush. Big toothbrush. Dun dun dun, first time. It wasn't me, Gaffner, honest. <laughs> Well, he's only gone and done it first time. I think that's pretty skillful, don't you think? I think that's pretty, pretty fantastic. Little Monty's going to be chuffed to bits with that. Look that's that. going to go near like that. That bit's going to go near like that. Let so you and the screw's go. going in, we'll hold it in place. Yeah. So you might think getting all these to line up in here is really difficult, but it's not really that difficult. Simply put them all in place. This is your bottom row. Like that. Now it's all over the place, they're all wobbly, they're all over the place. How are you going to line these up? It's really simple. If I lay this flat up against the piece there, this is our top piece. What you do, start this side, bring the camera around a bit more, over. That's it. So you start with the first one, you simply just slide it in place for a little bit and then work your way along. Slide it up into place. So what you're doing, you're bringing it out of the bottom one, you're bringing it up into place and just work your way along like that. Really simple to do. No need to struggle. Really easy. Simple as that. Got it? Yeah. <laughs> so there you go people, you saw it here first. How to make a simple dog crate out of bits of timber and doweling. I think he's going to be super pleased with this. So at the end, when we've constructed it all, we can do actually some filming of Monty testing out the little <laughs> dog bed and uh, see whether he likes it or not. You better. Fingers crossed he likes it and doesn't have a freak out because he's a little bit special when it comes to new things. So I will um, insert a clip at the end of this video as to what Mr. Monty thinks of his new bed. Because, um, um, yeah, Mel won't be very happy if after all this effort he doesn't like it. <laughs> so we will catch up with you in a minute.
when we've done the next bit. It squares right. itself up. Yeah. Because you're doing just butt joints, it squares itself in. So what do you think of that, folks? Isn't he good? Give this video a thumbs up. Yeah. I think Monty will fit in there. I think he'll do an amazing job. Yeah. yeah. I think it'll be lush. So section one. So now complete. just make need to make a door with rails on it as well, so it's like a little prison. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Poor Monty. Um so now you want a seating bit there, don't you? We're gonna do seating box, yeah. So we're gonna do another box and without the rails all, all in there. Making it all um singular boxes so that yeah. it can be changed around later on if you if we need it to, it to, yeah. And it's all nice and strong as well. So, so it's modular. We can sit. There's the word. It's modular. Mod modular. Yeah, modular seating. So it can all be taken out and put in another van if need be. That's a really good idea, yeah. So we're not actually fixing pieces singularly to the walls or to the floors. We're making it all in a box. Modular. <laughs> modular. So that, yeah, if we wanted to switch it round or you want to do something similar in your van. I mean, I've done it differently because I've got this this back piece so that we can... Yeah, you want to hang stuff on there, don't you? We want to hang stuff on there. Table. We've got to have a table that flips up. It's going to be a multi-purpose bench, seat, come, dog crate, and yeah, living outside of the van as well. So it's going to be epic. So keep watching to see how this gets transformed. So we've put the heater on because unfortunately it's got a bit colder and we're both freezing so I'm just shouting over the heater. This is the second box now that Mel's just quickly knocked up with his genius. So this is the first one like we showed you and then this is the second one and it just so happens he's just put the final piece together. So there's module number one and there is also module number two. Isn't that fantastic? It's a little wobbly, oh, but this we'll... Wall's, this wall's not straight, that's why. Oh, well, the wall's not straight, so that's my bad. But what we're going to do is we'll attach them together so that it forms one, one shape together. Sides, little door on the front for Monty. We're going to make that solid, I think. Oh, actually, we could put a few little... No, you're going to make it solid. That's going to be solid. That's going to be solid. That back piece is also going to, well, all of this is going to be solid. And then we're going to have lift up hatch there, lift up hatch there, so we can get access to clean or whatever in there for Monty. And then I haven't decided what I'm going to store in here yet, but nice big storage box for something. And then just going to get some kind of cushioning to go on top and then figure out how we're going to fill in this wall. Section. Modular. Modular. Actually, Word I might use that bit of cladding. I've got a little bit of cladding left over from this the wall cladding, which is a bit thicker. So I might even put that there to lean up against because that's nice and thick. But um, yeah, doesn't he? Didn't he do a fantastic job for today? Um, it's absolutely freezing in the van today, so we're gonna call it an afternoon in a minute aren't we? We're gonna pack up and go and get a nice hot cup of tea because we're both frozen and yes I've got the heater up high because I don't like the cold and I get cold really easily but this is working out lovely so my legs and my twinsies are nice and warm <laughs> but the rest of me is frozen so we will come back tomorrow and do some more and show you the progress tomorrow See you in the morning. And I've got a runny nose because it's cold. <laughs> Job's a good one. My nose is dripping like an egg sandwich. There you go. That looks and great, doesn't it? Door. Just going to put a door on and then that is his little monkey house. Little rabbit cage. That looks so good. It really Back. does. You've done such a good job with that. Super pleased. Look at that.
absolutely amazing. Go. It looks like Monty has made himself more than at home. Okay, so it's a few days later. I finished off all of the painting and all of the sanding and all of the varnishing and this is the finished product of the bench seat. Now I have just got a little bit of foam under there just to protect the floor. Mel has just installed this gorgeous floor so link up. So this is the finished article of the dog crate come seating area so I'm going to be putting some fixtures here so I haven't done that yet but I will show you that in another time. So we're going to hop up here. This is the gorgeous floor that Mel's just installed. So you'll see a video all about that in the coming few days. Coming few days. So this is my modular seating. So we've got one unit here, which is like I said, going to be for storage. Beautiful glazed wooden top and a big box. It's also not too high so that we can hop over into the cab area to drive or if we need to get back into the back area you know say you're camped up somewhere and you need to move suddenly in the middle of the night you can just hop over there i don't like vans where you can't get through from the main living area into the front so that's a personal preference of mine and i just think if you're traveling on your own especially if you're a woman you like to have that extra security of being able to drive off if you need to if you don't feel safe so that's a little tip and many other van lifers have done a similar thing. I know you lose space, but I would always prefer to have access through. So this is my decision. Right, so that's storage. This is also gonna have a bit of plastic sheeting stain as the shower to make sure that this doesn't get wet. And I'm also gonna be fitting a curtain with a magnetic seal on it on the corner so that that doesn't get water anywhere near the cabinet here. This hasn't been finished off, but we will do that when we finish off the shower area. So moving on to this second box here. This one also is lifted. You can lift it up so that you can get in there and clean and change the bedding or whatever's necessary if you need to. So this has got a little lock on it, a little bit stiff, but it's just a great little box for Monty so that he's got plenty of view and airflow. He can be safe in there if he needs to be in there when, you know, if we're outside and he needs to be able to be somewhere secure for a bit. It's also plenty of airflow. He can still see out, but be contained if he needs to be. So these are gonna be butted off up to each other like so, but I just can't fit it quite together at the moment. And yeah, we've got plenty of seating. And also the fact is that because they're separate, we can take them out and move them around. If they wanna be put into another van in the future, they can be because they're not fixed to the actual main structure of the van. Um, we put the flooring under so that it fit, finishes in the doorway there, which is perfect. And yeah, exactly what I envisaged. So it's a, a modular corner bench seat. So you've got storage, dog house, easy access and a hop over to get into the cab. Plus you can sit in the corner here with your legs stretched out this way so you've got a great little bench to sit on and this outer side here is going to have hooks with a flip up table like this so that when we're cooking outside and I've got my, my cooker out here we can easily hook our coats or jackets up, dog leads, whatever you need to really. And you've got another little surface to put some bits on. I'm gonna be finishing off this step soon. 
so that will be in a future video. Let me know in the comment section below what you think I should do. I'm thinking I'm going to use the rest of the laminate that's left over and make some boards to finish flesh, like so. Obviously take the, the tongue off, but fit it right down until the top of this, this black seal, like so. Fit it round and cut it in and do a nice return and then put some nice gold edging on, on these bits. Let me know below what you guys have done because I will be willing to listen to other ideas because now that I've got it all coming to a finish, it just makes it look nicer if you've got a nice finish on everything and there isn't any sort of sore patches left. So if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. It really does help me. And go and check out Mel's video where he will show you his perspective on fitting this gorgeous little corner unit. And I will link it up above here or here. I can never remember which side it is. But yeah, go give him some love and I will see you in the next one. Bye guys. Film by Joe. Film. Let's do that.